stomach, the first thing you want to do is get them in proper alignment. So Lena, if you'll just relax everything and kind of arch your back a little bit for us. Yep. So get the legs sickling, we've got a little arch in the back. What we want to do is get those legs pointed straight, feet engaged, lower belly lifts, sacrum tucks under, rib cage closes. There we go, thank you. And then the hands are going to be under the forehead and she's going to look straight down at the floor, very nice. We're going to continue to pull the belly in. So, we're going to put the legs in first position, even though they're pointed, and she's going to engage the legs. So, first what we want is how long can we get this leg, because dancers will often lift through a bent knee. So, we want those two lines in the back of the knee already stretched just as she lays here. And then we're going to do this front leg for them. So, we're going to stretch through the backs of the knees, lengthen through the toes, and lift the leg an inch or two, barely at all, and then rotate it, and then unrotate it, and then rotate it, and place it down. Let's try this other leg. So, we're going to lift it. Rotate it a little more, unrotate back to the parallel, and then rotate again and place it down. Thank you, Alina. We are going to do this drill many, many times. You can just lift it already rotated several times in a row. You can do the rotate, turn in, turn out. Lots of variations of this drill so that your dancer can figure out how to move from the hip rather than opening the hip in the tendu back and how to find length so that they're not lifting in their tongue or their glissé dégagé, that they're really able to press through the back of that knee once they're standing up. So these are really nice drills for your tongue back.